What's up guys? Graham here. Playing a little bit of Reaver action in the Black Garden before Reaver gets nerfed. Now I'm sure you guys have heard about the Reaver nerfs. Let's try to got let's try to dot these guys up. Alright, I kinda like always trying to get in the front of my team and stuff like that in order to let's pressure and pressure. Yes! Got the kill. Nice. But um yeah, if I can get at the front of my team and get the enemy team just as they're coming into the... Oh, no. Get off me. Get off me, man. Get, uh, all right. Good deal. Oh, I love the utility of Reaver. I love playing classes that... Ah, dang it. Target is pet. But I love to play classes that allow me to do a lot of different things. You know, whenever you're playing a spec that can only you know interrupt and do dps ro rotations it's it sucks because you don't have much ability to survive and all that but what was i saying okay yeah where whenever at the beginning of a uh, warfront i like to run out and dot up the entire team while they're still grouped up together and just coming out on some oh i'm taking my damage oh my whole team's gone Okay, they're up there on the ledge. Jump down, guys. Jump down. Why aren't they coming down? Oh, man. This guy's low. All right. The fang is down. They're still not jumping down. Why are, Why is my team not coming down? I'm the only one out here. I can't stop everybody, man. Gosh. Oh, it's me versus five here. Okay. Let's get out of there. Oh, I am dotted up and taking a lot of damage. Okay. Whew. Healer finally came down. Why was my team sitting up there? Oh, well. <laughs> so, they must have been busy typing a Warfront chat because somebody just said, Internet Celebrity Grim in the house. Man, you guys are... You guys are very kind to me. Uh, I, I cannot believe how nice you guys are to me. All the time in the game, people send me tales and say, I love the videos, Graham. I love what you're doing. And, man, it makes me feel so good. Trust me. I, I, I cannot believe the, the amount of attention that you guys give me and are so nice to me. Uh, newly, uh, uh, that is always posting comments in my videos. I think he's also won uh, giveaways on my channel and stuff like that. Been a longtime follower of my channel. Uh, I made... I believe it was my mage that I made a video on and said, man, I have no gear at all and blah, 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 all that stuff. And he sent me an entire set of gear, including earrings, everything. And all of it was dream orbed out and ruined. I was blown away that he was that nice and gave me that much stuff. I mean, that took a lot of resources and a lot of money in order to do. And I cannot be more thankful. Gosh. What is that? A warrior or a rogue that keeps on targeting me? It's obviously not a night blade because he's not blowing me up. But he is putting some pressure onto me. Every time he gets onto me. But he seems to have a problem with overextending, I believe. He's already ran into our team quite a few times. So, fast relief. Look at that. Got a liberator there. Let's go ahead and kill him. Done deal. Easy peasy. He was doing some good heals. Need to do a liberator build eventually, but the time that I put... Oh, there's a guy again. See how he's overextending into our team like that? And he keeps getting killed for it. I think, uh... I think what people tend to do is they they get in the uh, mind frame that they have to overextend in order to get at the healers of the enemy team, uh, especially in like white false steps. And, oh man, I, okay, I keep getting sidetracked, but I didn't even have dots on that guy, and I thought my shadow dread was going to be up. And whenever I dot up everybody, I always think they're uh, everybody is dotted up. So I'll like throw a viral stream really fast and not see that they don't have all the dots on them right there. Gosh, I got to gotta quit doing that. I got to also keep up with my shadow of dread as in put some kind of notification or change my macros to where it shows my shadow of dread. 
to where I can keep up with it and not hit my spam button and Shadow of Dread not be available. Because a lot of times I'll throw out my infestation and explosive infestation all while thinking my Shadow of Dread should be ready to go. Why isn't my spam button using my Shadow of Dread yet? And I need to just change it to where it shows my Shadow of Dread as the icon and I know to apply dots instead of my spam button if Shadow of Dread isn't ready to go. But, okay, back to the PvP tips. Alright, so, in, in like, uh, Whitefall Steps, you get a lot of situations where there will be a lot of enemies on the other side, and their healers will be behind them, and you feel like you can't reach the healers. So a lot of people think, man, I've got to get at the healers. Everybody in chat is telling us we've got to target the healers, so we got to run all the way into the enemy team and try to get at the healers. Well, guess what? That's going to get you tab targeted. That's going to get you killed. That is not the way to do it. In order to get at those healers and be very efficient in that warfront is to have pulls. Pulls are your number one friend. If you've got somebody on your team that has a, ma uh, a mage that has like Arbiter that has pulls, I think Riftstalker also has pulls, uh, Warlord in Warrior has pulls I mean you've got a lot of pulls available and all you have to do is start pulling people you don't even have to pull the healers but if you pull the healers perfect if you pull the DPS out of range of the healers then it'll it'll kill them it, it will straight kill oh no I'm hung up on this dang thing no and then they stun me gosh oh I was talking and I got hung up on that dang obstacle I shouldn't have died right there. Oh, it was worth it. I was talking to you guys. So, but pulls, use pulls like crazy. If, if you're in those types of situations, uh, use pulls on cooldown. Uh, uh, what I like to do is I like to hit somebody until they get about half life. And, you know, normally that's pretty easy for a healer to heal up. You know, they'll let somebody get to half life pretty easy. Well, then I'll pull them. I'll pull them out of range of the healer and boom, hit my viral stream and just kill them right there. I do it all the time, man. And, uh, I mean, almost everybody dies when I do that to them. So, pulls are so important. And they are in my uh, Reaver build here. So, if you want to PvP with the Reaver build, use my build. It has pulls. It has a lot of passive healing. It's just a really good build altogether. So use your pulls like crazy, guys, and use them on, on cooldown if they're they're uh, in that type of situation where you need to pull people quite a bit. Oh, I was thinking about waiting out that CC, but I seen the whole enemy team was coming down. I was at half health, so I couldn't do it. All right. Yeah, it's been a while since I gave you guys PvP tips like that because uh, just was working so much. Look at this CC has me running all the way back and around the tree. What kind of craziness is that? But yeah, I was working all the time and, you know, it seemed like I was really out of the loop on how everything was working in the game. And uh, whenever I was doing war fronts and stuff, I was basically just trying to have a little bit of fun and, you know, wasn't trying to show anybody any tips or anything like that. But I think it's... I think it's time for the PvT, PvP tips to come back. Alright, we are pressuring this team like crazy and we're killing them quite a bit. Seems like their heals are lacking. Uh, the the Liberator, what, oh, somebody went Dom. Dang it. Or else that Dom's been there the entire time or something, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention, man. I've been just running around killing people. <laughs> I've been too busy talking. I get too busy talking to you guys sometimes. Don't pay attention to what's going on in the warfronts. Dang, these guys are dying like crazy. And, and it's it seems to be that the reason why they're dying like that is they're getting pressured really hard, 
but they're still thinking they got to go in and stop us from getting the fame. So as you see, that guy runs all the way by himself, all the way up there, and look what happens to him. Right there. So these guys are thinking they have to go into the middle at all cost. That thing, Dom, he hasn't stopped targeting me. That, that Dom has, like, targeted me and, like, hasn't switched targets. Like, as in, he'll target me and he stays on me. Hmm. Wonder if that guy is just focusing me for a reason. Maybe he knows who I am or something. I don't know. Well, let, let's see that Dom. Let's see whenever he comes down, see who he targets. Okay, there's the Dom. I see him over there. Let's see who he targets. What? <laughs> Shit, right off the bat I was squirreled, man. Look at that. Uh oh, there he is again. Oh, he is focusing me like crazy. You son of... Oh, you lucky. I was coming after you, man. Oh, well. Good match, though. Good match. Luckily, we ended up winning. We made a comeback and ended up winning. I went 18-1. and one. Look at that. I got beat out by one other person that was in a pre-made. He went 20-0. and 0. All right. Cool. Very good match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, my name is Graham, and I'll see you next time.